Hey everyone, it's Rena. This is not going to be a happy vlog. It's thoughts on the Orlando shooting, and I've been actively avoiding thinking or talking about it for most of the day. There are no words. There are no words for it. I'm tired. I'm angry. I'm aggrieved. And mostly, I just don't know what to do. I don't talk about this a lot on my channel. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it actually, but I am bi. I'm queer. I am part of the LGBTQAAP plus whatever the acronym is now community. Um, I just say that because I use the word mogai instead. Um, it's more inclusive and more accurate, I think. But that's a different story for a different time. I'm incredibly fortunate to be someone who is surrounded by people who not only love me but also support me for who I am and for who I love. And I have calluses built up over time based on the fact that I am queer and I know that not everyone is going to like that about me. And I've come to realize, you know what, that's fine. They don't all have to like me. But when the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States is carried out against people like me, that's a real slap in the face. I know it's not exactly people like me. Um, I'm white, and Pulse is a mainly black and Latino, Latino Latina club. So I do hold quite a bit of privilege in that aspect. The fact that the crime was carried out in hatred of people based on love and based on orientation really hits at home for me. This was not what I wanted to wake up to in the morning. My heart goes out to everyone who's affected by this. My heart goes out to all the victims. Um, and their loved ones and families and um, everyone who will be outed without their consent because of this crime. My heart goes out to all of the Muslim individuals who will be subjected to even further and worse hatred because of this crime, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. My heart especially goes out to the Latino and black queer communities. My heart especially goes out to all those who will be on the receiving end of further hate because of the aftermath of this crime. I am learning how to mourn those who I don't know, but this is my community. And I... I don't know what to do right now. Knowing that someone hated people like me enough to go and kill people and hurt them and try and rip away their lives before their time and knowing that could be me or someone I love, that hurts. And that scares me. And the fact that people are talking about it as though it's a talking point. And talking about it like it's just politics. This is people's lives we're talking about. This isn't politics. Don't you dare tell me that it's just politics. I really have to say that. I don't know if I have anything else to say on the matter, really. Um... I'm trying to process it. If you know me um, in real life or online or what have you, please don't bring up the shooting with me. Um, messages of, of support are always welcome, but please don't bring up the event itself with me. See you on the next video.